The trial of the three men charged with chasing and murdering Amada Arbery begins Monday. And court officials preparing for the trial mailed jury duty notices to 1,000 people in Glynn County. News 4 Jacks reporter Marilyn Parker joins us from Brunswick with a closer look at the process. So I spoke with the clerk inside the courthouse. He says he has never summoned this many people for just one trial. I also spoke with a criminal defense attorney who says this goes to show just how important it is for both sides to have a fair trial. The Glenn County Courthouse getting cleaned up before the trial of a high profile case felt nationwide. Do you think Brunswick is ready for this trial? I think so. Uh, we've been watching the clerk's office really get prepared for this case. Criminal defense attorney Paige Pate, who's not affiliated with the case, says out of an abundance of caution, the judge summoned 1,000 people as potential jurors. With so many jurors and COVID-19 protocols still in place, we asked the clerk what the plan is for Monday. We're told the potential jurors will be sent to the courthouse annex building. 600 people will report on Monday and then 400 will report on the 25th. Then in groups of 20, they'll be questioned and given time to come to the courthouse. But the reality is this case is going to be won or lost in jury selection because Everyone does have an opinion whether this was right or wrong, and they're not going to leave those opinions outside the courtroom. He says the evidence is already out there. The video released three months after Ahmaud Arbery was shot and killed. The decision made by former District Attorney Jackie Johnson, now indicted for misconduct in the handling of Arbery's case. The judge hasn't ruled on most of the pretrial motions, but Pate says this isn't unusual and that evidentiary rulings can be made during the trial. Pate says they're looking for people who haven't reached an opinion about who is guilty or innocent in this case. I, I do think jury selection is going to be critical, maybe even more so than the evidence that's presented at trial. Masks will be required inside the courthouse. There's going to be limited seating in the courtroom, and I'm also told they are going to strictly enforce social distancing. We're at the Glenn County Courthouse, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4. The local station. And News for Jackson reporters Marilyn Parker and Janice Harris will be covering the murder trial in Brunswick with live reports from the Glenn County Courthouse beginning Monday.